welcome to the Gatsby Barn. Today we are in New Hope, Pennsylvania. We're on over 10 and a half acres. I know this looks like not a whole lot, right? It looks unassuming. It looks like maybe we're at a barn and we are. This is the Gatsby Barn. Welcome to a building originally built in 1750. This is the Gatsby Barn. We've got 10,000 square feet, six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, the coolest outdoor backyard in all of Pennsylvania, a massive pavilion with a smoker, the most insane indoor outdoor gym, plus cottage, movie theater. I got Pan Am airplane seats, Yankee Stadium seats, arcade games, a jazz room, and so much more. Let's go. All right, let's start here. Now, you immediately get the feeling of Gatsby. It feels like we're in the movie. You've got the design, you've got the geometry, you've got the ceiling, the lighting in here is amazing. The whole house is outfitted as maybe one of the smartest homes I've ever seen, and probably you've ever seen, by a company called Lux One. Like, look at these light fixtures. I mean, have you ever seen a light fixture like that? You have a great powder room over here. The main house is about 10,000 square feet. So we're here, we're in the entry foyer, and then boom, 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 boom. Now this is the great room. Look at this. Look at these steel beams. We've got metal plates on the wall. That balcony actually, that railing, and we're gonna go up there, was taken from the Waldorf Astoria. So Frank Sinatra, like, touched that. Marilyn Monroe, like, everyone in New York. This house is a blast from the past, married with every modern amenity you could possibly want. So this is our main living floor. So we've got a beautiful TV, fireplace, one of the biggest, I mean, look at this couch. Just so you can see scale. Like, oh. This is how I would live in this house. I would just sit in this huge couch by myself and I would just watch Moulin Rouge, like on repeat over and over and over. Look at this dining table. The chandeliers, and all the chandeliers are restoration hardware. Now this table is 20 feet long. It can seat your family and all of the families of all the friends you've ever had. It is that big. The windows, casement, everything here is absolutely brand new. And the kitchen is wild. Now this is something you don't see in New York. Obviously because of the size. This is a humongous kitchen sink, right? You can put plates and dishes everywhere. It's got this whole setup so that you can dry everything everywhere. You've got these two Brizzo feature faucets, which are beautiful. I have Brizzo myself granite countertops, appliances on appliances on appliances, tons of storage. This is a Leconche, so this came directly from France, imported here. It's the extra large one. This individually could be sold on the black market now for like into the six figures, just for this stove. Now they matched it too with the matching hood. So you've got this black and gold, like decadent roaring 20s feel throughout the kitchen. And then the kitchen keeps going, like I'm still in the kitchen. Like, can you see? I'm still in the, I'm still here. I'm still here. Now I'm in the coffee bar, breakfast bar. You've got appliances, you've got your espresso machine. And then this leads me kind of through temperature controlled red wine and white wine rooms. Like, and they're big enough. Like if you see, like I'm six foot three, 200 pounds, but like I can, I can get in here. Like I'm in there, I'm in here right now. You know, I could just, it's so nice and cool in here. It is so hot outside today. I might just, I might just hang here and just drink. Maybe that's what I would do. Okay, coming out. And then I give you a sneak peek at the beginning, but then we loop back around here and then we've got our bar. Now these owners are from New York, right? So there's a New York style here. There's a New York feel and they definitely like to entertain. 
so to have a full on bar set up. And then you can change the color of the lights, you can change the color of the lighting that's in the fireplace. I mean, the list of features here goes on and on and on, and we've only just begun. And look at this, like, isn't this a cool feature wall? So the staircase is this really cool wood and steel floating stairwell that runs up the entire house. Now the whole house is four floors, right? So it stands at over 40 feet. So you have four floors, you've got your own private elevator, and then you've got things like this, right? To allow natural light to come through as you're moving up the staircase, but also it's really, really cool to look at. And now before we go upstairs, let me take you to the music room. Jazz room? You'll, you'll, you'll see. So bedroom number one, which has a beautiful ensuite bath. Every bathroom in this house has its own theme, by the way, and is all handicap accessible with radiant heat flooring, leads you into this room. So the shades can come down, this whole curtain, basically out of a movie theater, totally closes off. The lighting can dim, it can be red, it can be whatever you want. We've got padded walls that match the tufting here in the couch. And then you put the record player on and you can just sit here and vibe. And you don't have to do anything here. We see so many houses that are either so poorly designed that you have to redo them or they're old and you gotta redo them and it takes years and years and years. This house was just finished. Like you can smell it, it smells new completely. And then if you want this to be a bedroom, obviously, right? This pulls apart and you've got a whole Murphy bed right in here. Padded walls. All right, upstairs. Okay, floor number two, you've got three bedrooms, three bathrooms and a laundry room. And then this is what I was showing you before. This is directly from the Waldorf. This is your view. If you wanna have a huge party, you open up those double doors as people come in, you say, welcome to the Gatsby barn. Welcome to my mansion. Welcome to my estate. It's really what this is, an estate. Now you have two guest bedrooms, both good kids rooms, ensuite baths, huge closet space, and then quite the primary. The primary, is big enough to be two or, or three bedrooms. You have your own seating area over here, a little wet bar with you know coffee stations so you're good to go. You've got corner exposure, huge views. Now there's power shades throughout every room, everywhere, a touch of a button, blackouts, everything. But you're also looking into like five acres of walking trails that go into the woods behind the house. I am totally private. All I see is the world here just nature on nature on nature. And then you've got two big walk-in closets. So first walk-in closet here, this is his closet. Very clean, by the way. Very well designed. It smells great. It's interesting. It's really, really nice. Then you've got this floating mirror, two-way sided gas fireplace. Another TV, there's tons of TVs in this house. And then this is all modeled after the Fitzgerald. Sweet, you have the shape everything, even if you look at it here, the crystals, this is exactly what it looked like, which I think is super cool, except you have these Pennsylvania rolling views. Now we've got her closet. So plenty of room for shoes, bags, jewelry. This is the primary bath. So you've got your water closet and bidet with a TV, obviously. Double vanity, all on theme. We're still rolling with the Gatsby theme here. Floating tub, looking out over your acreages on top of acreages. And then look at this. So this is a full on steam shower okay, with massage features. And then they actually got the natural rain water head here. I'm not gonna turn it on because I'm like fully clothed right now, but I've been in one of these shower heads before and there is no better experience. And the house also has a clean water filtration system, so some of the cleanest water you're gonna get, plus a huge well, so you'll never run out of water. You are good to go. So that's this floor. Things start to get fun now. Let's go upstairs. Nothing like having your own elevator. So this is a full-size private elevator, hits all four floors, and 
because our owners are from New York. They modeled it, same thing with like the, the door here. They modeled it after a New York City elevator that you'd see in a building on, on Park Avenue. Now you got two rooms up here. One here, it's a good smaller guest room, ensuite bath, could be a good nanny's room, tons of storage, good seating space. This is where we model off some very, very fancy sneakers. If you've seen the new movie Air, Air Jordans. And then we hit our movie theater. This is where things start to get interesting. So we've got graffiti walls throughout, poker table, an amazing arcade game here. These are original like 1950s Pan Am airplane seats. Like they still have like the, like the volume button. Oh my lift. Oh my, oh, can I, can you just imagine the people who are sitting in these planes back in the days of Pan Am and they were just, it was so luxurious, right? Like they were just gifted by flight, you know, and they could fly above the weather and go from California to New York. Cool. All right, make sure our tray tables are stored. Baggage is ahead of us. Beautiful couch here, hangout space, drop down screen, movie theater, and then obviously you got another bar. This house has bars on bars on bars. And ooh, these are taken from Yankee Stadium. So you can just sit here and watch everything happening. These are way more comfortable than what they have in the stadium now. Like, these are awesome. Full bar here, like I just said, there's bars on bars on bars, and now, Let's go to the lower level. And now the lowest level of the four levels in our main 10,000 square foot home here in the Gatsby barn has a lot. So you've got your mud room, separate entrance. You've got a separate bedroom down here, full ensuite bathroom, tons of storage, access to your garage with your Tesla charging station. And then this totally opens up as a nice air conditioned, you know, covered, Cool space, really. You've got a catering kitchen here, butcher block countertop, completely ready to go, double wide, massive refrigerator and freezer. And now, without further ado, let's go outside. Ah, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day to have your own pool, have your own built-in waiting lounges, gorgeous pool, completely brand new. That thing in the middle is actually an ice bucket so you can have beers in there and ready to go. You have total privacy. All I hear is like birds and happiness. And then you have maybe one of the sickest outdoor pool pavilions I've ever, ever, ever seen. On this side, we're relaxing, we're hanging out. We have a full outdoor dining table. We're fully covered here too. So we've got fans built in. And if weather's bad and you're having like a party, you've got all of the rain shields. These can come down in a millisecond. And then you've also got heaters in here as well so that you can keep this fully heated or it's summer now, you're ready to go. I've got an outdoor TV. So we're sitting here, we're hanging out. And we've got our hanging fireplace. This thing was actually imported so they could fit perfectly right there in the corner, which I think is just really, really cool. And then look at this kitchen. Massive counter space. Okay, I've got eight bar stools here. You can do 12 bar stools there, another four or five bar stools there. I've got my own pizza oven here. I've got double grill here. Well, oh, do you see that? It just turned on as I walked by. Do you see that? Here, well, oh. Like, I mean, everything here is so smart. We've got multiple sinks, wine coolers, refrigerators, dishwashers. This is a hibachi grill. So you can actually take this off and then you can just be, just be like, serve it up, you know, serving it up here for everybody. I'll put this back, got it. And then behind me is like a $60,000 smoker. So you can see this, it's fully vented out. So you can put like a full on pig in here, like come back around so you can see like how big this is. Like this is a real smoker. Like who has this? 
I've never seen this before. It's like totally crazy. All right, let's go to the cottage. All right, now we've got our cottage. So original, but obviously restored. This is a one bedroom, one bathroom cottage. Like it's an amazing guest house. It's super cool. It's got a total Hamptons vibe in here. You've got your shiplap. You've got hardwood flooring that rises up the wall here. It's really, really cute, really pretty. And then you've got your Adirondack chairs. You can sit out here with a cup of coffee and just watch the world happen around you as you develop a sense of new hope, Pennsylvania. Oh my God, cut at that part, <laughs> cut at that part. And then we've got a two car garage, but it's totally been converted into your own private health center. So on this side, we've got a full length mirror, TV and a bar so that you can do bar classes, yoga, there's a Pilates reformer here. And then we've got everything you could possibly need. We've got treadmills, Pelotons, we've got elliptical machines, all the weights, full gym. I just think it's so cool because on a nice day, you can put up the garage doors and just like work out outside, inside. Now, this building also has history. This was the first schoolhouse in New Hope, Pennsylvania. Isn't that cool? Like, in the early 1700s, like early, 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 way before the Constitution was even drafted. And then upstairs, we've got an apartment, but it's been converted to be an office. Total home office. Feels like I'm in New York here, right? Well, except for that view. Desk set up, you're good to go, full bathroom. You actually have all the features ready over here to turn this into a fully working kitchen. If you want to put a stove back and actually make this a one bedroom or, or efficient two bedroom, you could do that. But right now it's set up as an amazing home office space. So we've got the 10,000 square foot main house, six bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, four floors, private elevator, private cinema. We got spas on spas, on kitchens, on bars, everything. The coolest outdoor backyard in all of Pennsylvania. Look at this pool, the pavilion, the private gym, the home office, the cottage, all construction initially in 1750. This is 2169 Aquatong here in New Hope, the newest Sirhan signature listing with the Society Select team. I'll see you later.